it is 5.30. I will call the public works meeting to order. Um, we'll do roll call. Um, Dean? Here. Marcus? Here. Rose? Here. And then Ryan's here. Betty, are you on? I am. Okay, so we have to, so you're not officially on the committee yet because um, the council has to approve you. Um, so you can hang out with us and watch the meeting, um, but you can't vote, if that makes sense. Yep, that works for me. Okay. Thank you. Um, everyone, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, first on the agenda is approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Dean, Dean's made a motion, um, and then Marcus seconded it. Um, any discussion on the minutes from our previous meeting? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. Um, next on the agenda, items for discussion and possible action. Resolution number 50-20-21, July 6th. Document 4.10, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute an electric electric transmission line easement and right away clearing agreement and a temporary permission for herbicide treatment with the American Transmission Company regarding parcel number 59281215800. Director Beevil, oh, there you are. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is basically, as, as it's pretty much uh, as you read, um, authorizing an, an easement for ATC's transmission uh, line uh, across city property. Currently, the line has uh, been in existence there for some time already, uh, but since they're doing upgrades to their line, they also are looking at um, basically their easements that are or are not in place, and uh, this was one of them that really wasn't recorded. So what they're doing here is we're just going to formalize this, uh, they're going to pay the city 8400 as stated in the resolution, and uh, another 500 for exchange consent for the herbicide chemicals, vegetation management. Obviously, they don't want trees and vegetation growing to a height that can disrupt the transmission lines. This parcel is right on uh, Taylor Drive and Kohler Memorial Drive, right at where the off-ramp is off of Kohler Memorial Drive onto Taylor Drive. There's a little triangle wedge piece between the off-ramp and to the north would be Wilgus. And it would be on the east side of the intersection. It's just um, a small area there. So um, reviewed it, approved it, and uh, we would recommend approval uh, on this resolution. Is there such motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Motion second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. That's approved. All right. Next one. Resolution 51 2021, July 6, 2020, document 4.1. Resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to accept two grants of, re of res restoration of trees in Sheboygan roots regarding Emerald Ash Borer Mitigation at City Parks. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I have this evening with us Superintendent of Parks and Forestry, Joel Curlin, as well as, as, well as our City Forester, Mr. Tim Bull. And I would, with your permission, I'd like to allow them to explain a little bit more about this wonderful grant opportunity uh, that they've been able to secure, secure some funding for, for our program, so. Okay, so this grant involves a total of, well, it's two different grants, totaling 20,000. So 
Uh, 5,000 is from Alliant Energy through a corporate gift is what they are terming it, but it's going through Roots. So Roots got the money, they applied for the grant for us. So they got that 5,000 and then they're pitching in 3,000 to go alongside of that. And then also they applied for a district rotary grant, which is another 3,000. So that totals that whole project to 11,000 and that's for uh, Lakeview Park, Evergreen Area 5, uh, Rotary Park and uh, what's the other one? Yeah, those three. And then that's 11,000 and then the 9,000 is from the Early Birds Rotary, Rotary Group and also the district grant and also roots. So three, three and three is nine. So that's for also part of Evergreen Area 5, Roosevelt Park, Veterans Park and Cleveland Park. So all combined, it's $20,000. We're gonna be planting 127 trees in those parks this fall. Uh, and we're also, some of these ash trees have been removed already in prior years. And this year, we also are removing, or we've hired out the removal of many of these trees. So they're all getting replaced and it kind of goes together. So we're removing the, the standing ash trees and we're replanting. And through Roots and working with them with these grants, they're, they're paying for the majority of the trees that we're replanting. Does that make sense? Yeah. Questions from anybody? Just, just a comment that sure. this, is a, this is a great thing. I mean, I, uh, the, we've got such a loss of trees in this city that you know, anything we can do, any grants that you guys can get, is, this, is, this is phenomenal. Uh, very, very happy with it. Great job. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Is there a motion to approve? Uh, motion to approve. Second. Motion by Dean, second by Marcus. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay, what tab did I have the agenda on? Here we go. All right, 3.3, .3, resolution number 52-2021, document 4.12, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute a memorandum of understanding with the QD regarding the terms and conditions of the driveway improvements of, let's, we're gonna say Union Avenue, and related to infrastructure associated with the QD expansion in Advocate Aurora Hospital Project. Director Beeble. Thank you, Mr. Chair. and. That is correct. We're going to later on after my, the background and, and um, my explanation of this, we're going to ask for amendment that on the resolution that the resolution be amended to say uh, Union, uh, Union Avenue versus Indiana Avenue because that's uh, exactly where the project is. If you're familiar with Taylor Drive and Union Avenue where the Advocate Aurora Hospital is being built as well as the additions and expansion of Acuity Insurance. As part of this project, there's going to be major traffic impacts uh, with the associated improvement of the hospital as well as Acuity's addition. What we did is we entered into traffic impact analysis and looked at the infrastructure in its current arrangement and it's going to need substantial upgrades. One of the things that Acuity uh, is doing that we need to have is have their driveway, their new driveway match up with the hospital's driveway. So it, it moves it further west away from Taylor Drive. Uh, this, this provides a, a good, safe, controlled intersection versus driveways being offset, contri uh, contributing to conflict points and accidents potentially happening. So it was very important. Throughout this process, we've been um, if you recall, we entered into um, a relocation order for right away for this driveway opening uh, because the area where this was located, there was a private property owner that Acuity did not own. And uh, in order to accomplish this, the city was going to acquire this as a public improvement as a, as a, as a condition of the city needing this to occur. 
based on the traffic impact analysis. Since then, Acuity has uh, acquired this parcel on their own. And through this parcel, they, they've, they've purchased more right of way, or not right of way, excuse me, but the actual entire parcel where we were only gonna look at a, a portion of the parcel. Nevertheless, with them uh, taking the lead on this, as well as relieving the burden of the city now, having to acquire and purchase the property, as well as acquire right away from Acuity, which we needed to do, we entered into a negotiation with them based on their needs as well as the needs of the city on this. So uh, basically it boils down to this, Acuity's driveway off of Union Avenue, it will be now aligned with the Advocate Aurora's Hospital, but it will be constructed at Acuity's expense. In, in, in lieu of that, and the city not now needing to do that construction as well as the right-of-way acquisition, we will be constructing a new sanitary sewer main extension uh, that will extend to Acuity's property for a future connection with their uh, eventual proposed e expansions, future expansions. In addition, uh, Acuity will quit claim the city required street right away located at the southwest corner of the intersection of Taylor Drive and Union Avenue uh, for the sanitary sewer main extension as well as the infer, in, uh, inter, intersection improvements. This will be at no cost to the city. We, what, we, we're going to be adding a, a dedicated right turn only lane at this intersection uh, headed eastbound on Union to turn southbound onto Taylor. And in order to accomplish that, we need a small, what we call a triangle for the radius of that new right turn lane. Uh, and Acuity has uh, agreed to the, this uh, understanding that that would be donated to the city. So under this a memorandum of understanding, we just wanted to bring everyone up to speed where we're at. Um, and again, I would um, ask for approval of the memorandum of understanding as well as um, amending the resolution uh, to change it from Indiana Avenue to State Union Avenue. Okay. So, so which, do we, which do we need to do first? We got we to move to approve the document and then we can make a, a separate motion to amend it. Make okay. a motion to approve. There's been second. a motion to approve and then there's a second. Make a motion to amend the document to now read Union Avenue instead of Indiana Avenue. There's been an amendment made. Second. And a second. Any discussion on the amendment? We're going to do two votes. All those in favor of Making the amendment to change Indiana Avenue to read Union Avenue, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That amendment is approved. Now back to the main motion. Is there any discussion on this document? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the amended document, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That document is approved as amended. Thanks, David. All right, chugging along. Resolution 5320-21, July 6, 2020, document 4.13. Resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a revised state municipal agreement revised June 26, 2020, for the reconstruction of North Ave from Calumet Drive to North 15th Street. Ryan, how's it going? Yeah, um, I'm sure everyone's familiar with this project. This is a North Avenue project that was completed late last fall from Calumet Drive to North 15th Street. Originally back in 2015, we signed a state municipal agreement because it was a DOT sponsored project. And since then, there's always constant revisions to that, to that agreement. And this last agreement here has got nothing to do with any kind of monetary value. It's just that they're gonna extend the sunset date two years so we can, um, so we have a little bit longer warranty on trees and grass and stuff like that. So that's all it is. It's, but it's a change in the agreement. They're changing the sunset date two years. So, any questions at all? Or? Any questions? Nope. Make a motion to approve. Second. There's been a motion and a second to approve. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right. 3.5. General Ordinance Number 12-20-21, Document 6.6, .6, Ordinance Placing Stop Signs 
at the northwest and southeast corners of North 7th Street and Highland Terrace. Right? Okay, yeah. Our office became aware of uh, un uncontrolled intersection at North 7th Street and Highland Terrace. When I say uncontrolled, there's no stop signs, no yield signs, anything at all. So once we became aware of this, we drafted an ordinance so that it's gonna, it's gonna be at a minimum, a two-way stop, just for safety reasons. Motion to approve. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? So what, what is the process then? Are you just gonna like pick at random which yeah, direction? Yeah, I, I use my judgment. The, the, I always put the stop signs on, on, the, on the minor street. Okay. That I think is the minor street. I don't, put, I don't put it on the busier street. So that's, I just kind of use my best judgment for that. And, Sounds good. Yeah. And this is kind of what you, the, the, the way you've kind of gone to, you've stated in the past, you've kind of gotten away from get, going to yield signs anyways. You yeah, that, right. We don't, really, I really don't go with yield signs much anymore, yes. personally. If you're, yeah. But, there, but there's no control at all at this intersection. Okay. Why, I don't know. It just has been like that for a long time, I'm assuming. <clears throat> okay. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right. Next meeting, July 28th. Seeing that we've exhausted the agenda, is there such motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. Aye. Um, chair votes aye. We are adjourned at 547. Thanks, everybody. Aye.